Well, I got into music uh, as a kid, you know, um, in school. Um, saxophone, playing school band, you know, John Philip Sousa marches and all that, those sweet jams. And then, um, yeah, I just, I was kind of, I really dug it, I got good at it, you know, and, and uh, then someone gave me a bass guitar about seventh grade or sixth grade, seventh grade, and then I was like, you know, my whole life changed as soon as that happened. That's all I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to play Chili Peppers songs, and I wanted to, you know, do all this, like, I was into all this, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call it alternative music back then, you know, but, um, yeah, I, you know, I did that all, I mean, I've been doing that ever since, you know, but that one person that gave me that that bass kind of just changed my thing, you know. Um, yeah, and I, through there, I've just kind of been a sponge for music as far as, you know, I mean, it's one of the only things I'm really so interested in that, you know, it never dies. Yeah, one, yeah, I was in college and someone gave me a banjo, um, left it at my house, and I was like, immediately, super into it. I wanted to play bluegrass, and you know, I, I had, it brought back memories of me listening to records as a kid that had banjo that I really loved, like this one Eagle, the first Eagles record is one, it's got this song Early Bird on there that's like, got some amazing, amazing banjo playing and I didn't know it at the time you know but the, the sound popped out to me and I, I you know I always loved that so yeah and yeah I never really thought that I'd be a banjo player or known as a banjo player but um, yeah but that's where I am right now <laughs> you know we'll see in 10 years what happens you know probably play the saw or something Tall Tall Trees came about, um, I think I started writing the songs in about 2005 or 2006 and I, I hadn't really written songs for a long time because I was, I was going to school for jazz and learning how to play, like I was playing upright bass and playing, you know, traditional jazz and stuff like that and I did that for, I was into that for a long time because jazz was like a mystery for me and like, you know, I needed to solve it somehow and you know, it's like, so I really pursued that for a long time. So I didn't really sing or write any songs for years and years. I was just into listening to jazz and trying to be a really good instrumentalist. And and uh, yeah, I, and then I started, I, I actually took a trip to Brazil and I went to um, play bass with a group. And I had electric bass and, and we were kind of wandering around the, um, the towns and playing with local musicians, but I had like an electric bass, and I couldn't like jam in the square with with the musicians. So I, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't do that because I didn't have an acoustic instrument, you know. So I actually found a shop in Brazil and I bought this little banjo, like a Brazilian banjo, just so I could play, you know, in, in the in the streets with these musicians who were just amazing. And yeah, when I got home. I had an old banjo in the closet, this one that someone gave me, and I started out and I just started writing songs. And uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't stopped since. When I hate to be alone. Uh, Tall Tall Trees, um, the name comes from an old country song by uh, Roger Miller and George Jones, who are like two of my early songwriting heroes. Um, yeah, Roger Miller especially, but I mean George Jones as well, but Roger Miller is and when I started the band, he he was like a kind of a, a light when I found his music because he's you know he kind of teeters between very serious music and also just absurdist kind of you know music. So it kind of spans a whole emotional spectrum that at the time I was looking to do as well because you know I, I would have a lot of humor in my music at, at first and um, you know I've kind of dialed that back a little bit as of recently but um, it's still there. I still write songs that I don't think are funny and I play them live and people laugh and I'm like okay. <laughs> I was a seagull, you were an eagle. We were together once in a while. Like the 
mountains, I love the ocean. I need the motion, you need to. When we're together, birds of a feather, that make you lazy, you keep me shy. There's no escape and a love that's forsaken. Why must we fake that? I guess that's funny, but it's cool, you know. Um, but yeah, that's where Tall Tall Trees comes from. I mean, my, my banjo style comes from just a, a long history of experimentation, I think. You know, I've never wanted to be like a traditional musician or player in any way. I, I'm always more interested in um, pushing the boundaries of of what an instrument can do. So, you know, I, I study bluegrass banjo, which is like, you know, Earl Scruggs, of course, is the father of that, where you wear picks and you play, you know, very intricate um, passages and stuff. And, you know, I did that for a while. I think my history of playing, like, slack bass has also, like, crept its way in there. And, you know, the combination of that with, like, using pedals and loops technology and stuff has all shaped what I'm doing now. We have thunder, we saw the lightning, the night is frightening, when the sun starts to see, you pull me closer, you drew me closer, I lay my worries and you set me up to sleep. lot of different things that can be done that a lot of people don't and that's what that's what inspires me to be able to coax the sound out of an instrument that you know nobody's really heard before or seen so that, that's what excites me you know and that hopefully I you know I can bring that into my music and and share it with people um well the evolution of, of tall tall trees is just kind of been pretty natural with my own personal taste and, and preferences, you know. Um, when I recorded the first record, I was um, recording at home and just kind of experimenting with uh, the banjo, really. I mean, that's, that was the focal point for me there, you know, trying to record myself, first of all, which is something that I hadn't really done before. Uh, just get these songs down that I was writing, you know. And um, I built them at home in my home studio and, and put them together and had some friends play on them. And, but yeah, the songs were, you know, a lot of them were silly, kind of, just like, I didn't really think too much about it. I just wrote these songs to entertain myself and then recorded them. And, you know, I was very surprised that a lot of people responded to it. But uh, it also inspired me to, to uh, keep going. So, you know, from that point on, I started taking Tall Tall Trees as a, serious project for me. I mean, as far as, uh, as, far as the second record goes, it was um, a product of collaboration with some friends and really just different things happening in my life to inspire, you know, a more serious tone, I guess, you know, and more psychedelic tone, you know, as well. Yeah, for the next record, I'm, I'm going to um, explore a lot more of what I've been doing live. I've been really inspired. You know, I've been doing a lot of touring this year, solo, you know, with uh, just me and banjo and, and loops and stuff like that. And it's been a really inspiring um, thing for me to experiment with all these sounds and see how much I can do just on my own. So the next record, um, 
yeah, it's going to be based in that. You know, I want it to resemble my live show more. The solo aspect has been kind of a necessity. Um, you know, being an indie artist touring and stuff, it's it's just really difficult to. Um, you know, finance even, you know, a full band to tour around the country, you know. So I, I hope to return to that eventually. As far as inspiration goes, I've been, uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of friends. Um, you know, I've been lucky to been, be touring with, with some really good friends from New York and, and other places that have been inspiring. But um, yeah, I've been touring with um, my friend Kishibashi, who's been a tremendous inspiration to me as far as how to um, go forward as a solo artist, you know, and be an instrumentalist and, and a songwriter and be able to do a lot by yourself. You know? So. That's been really inspiring. Also, um, yeah, just a ton of bands from Brooklyn and New York that I love. <laughs>